question six. So, nice question this actually. So, I need to start off by doing a doing like a long division here, well algebraic division. So let's just quickly do this, and then you can see what we're left over with. So we're going to divide it by x plus two. So let's see what we end up with. So if we multiply this by x, okay, then we're going to have x squared plus 2x, 8x, take away 2x, that gives me 6x down there. So if you multiply it by 6, 6, and then that will give me, well, squeeze it in there, okay, hopefully you're all doing things down here, we've got a little bit of space, plus and 12, minus 3, and then take away the 12, and it means that we've got like minus 15 in terms of our remainder. So what does that mean? It means that this times this minus this equals this figure here. How does it correspond to this bit here? It means that we've got, so A is, is 1 plus 6, and then we've got minus 15 over x plus 2. Okay? So that's the first part of the question. Now with this question, quite unusual actually, because you need this bit to be able to, to do part B. Normally it's like show that. Um, right, so let's have a look at part B, because you're going to be a bit stuck on part B if you haven't got this bit here. So we need to integrate. Obviously we've got limits, but don't try and integrate this. Let's integrate this over here. So let's rewrite. So we've got going to integrate between 6 and 0. We've got x plus 6, and we've got minus 15x over 2. Now, all of these bits, we can we can kind of just do individually. individually. So what's that give us? That gives us x squared over 2 plus 6x. And then we're going to have, uh, if we integrate this bit, it's going to give me minus 15 run x over 2. And that's still between 6 and 0. Now I need to feed in those limits of 6 and 0, see what we end up with. Again, what I tend to do, just find it easier, is don't try and work out anything. Um, just do things one step at a time. Just write everything in, and then hopefully you'll see that it's... I'm going to just write ln 8 in mind. All right. And then we're going to take away... Oh, I'm glad it's 0, because that's 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0. Take away... Minus 15, run 2. All right. Let's get that together, tidy it up, get rid of the brackets. So what's that going to give me? That's going to give me 18 plus 36. And then I've got minus 15, run 8. And plus, plus 15, run 2. Now, I'm that's going to give me 54. And now I need to combine these guys together. But, ah, there is a bit of a clue in the question, okay? Now, the question mentioned, says about having run 2 at the end. Now, we need to think about our log laws and about how they're going to get combined together. Now, you might be mistaken, kind of thinking, because we could end up getting a quarter. Um, and it's actually... It did, that's what I did to start off with. I kind of I thought about this one, take away this one, and then add the 2 over 8. But actually, it's probably a little bit easier to think in in these terms. If you, if you put the negative, well, the negative 15 outside for a second, and then we've got ln 8, take away ln 2. This bit... So that's ln 4. Still, well, wait a minute, it's like it's like got worse, hasn't it? Because we're trying to get to ln 2 here. We already had 1. So you might kind of think, well, what's the problem there? We just made life worse for ourselves. Well, what's 4? Four? 4 is 2 squared, isn't it? 2 squared. Think of your log laws. That 2 can now come outside. It's multiplied at the front. So the answer 
get it in the right format 